Hey everybody, thank you for joining us on the Twin Energy Podcast. Thank you very much. What? what? Uh, I just wanted to give you guys some tips on where to find us. Uh, the main thing, well obviously you found us if you're watching this, but... Uh, you found us, thank you. We were lost for a little while. <laughs> uh, search, uh, first one is YouTube. Go on YouTube and search Twin Energy, T-W-N-R-G-Y. And also do the same thing on Facebook, search Twin Energy. And then also we have a Patreon account. Our, first off, we have an Instagram account. Do it for the gram, y'all. Gram it up. up. Grammy season's Grammys. coming up. Yeah, folks. Get those grams. We're winning. Likes, comments, whatever. Uh, but yeah, search for us on Instagram. Search Twinergy. And then also, Patreon. We have a Patreon account. That website is www.patreon. And it'll be a backslash T W N. RGY and on patreon you'll be able to see our videos and you'll have an opportunity to contribute if you'd like uh, Whether it's monthly or a one-time contribution. There is expenses that are uh, Factored into this whether it's posting and other things of that sort But if not feel free to continue to watch this for free and enjoy the material that we put out and Adam has some other information in regards to how you can find us all right other things you could do to find a place to say listen to us on is go on Apple iTunes, go on that search bar, type in Twinergy, T-W-N-R-G-Y, and then our podcast will pop up. Also, the same for Spotify, just type in our Twinergy name, it'll come up, and then go on Stitcher, and it'll come up and you'll find us. And you get, you could download an app for Stitcher and Spotify yeah. on your phone. This way it makes it easy. You can get okay. there, yeah. on the go. Yeah, if you have Apple, it's already on the phone, I believe. Yeah, you already have the Apple iTunes app on there. So you have Apple, you have Android, whatever. Whatever you matter, have, what download, your affiliation, just whatever check side it out. you find yourself on. Download Stitcher or Spotify app. Type in Twinergy and you'll find us. And once you do find us on YouTube, if you could, could subscribe, that'd be amazing. It's just as good as con- contributing financially sometimes. You can subscribe on iTunes as well. Subscribe on iTunes. Don't forget that. Leave comments, leave suggestions. We're open. Open We're for it. Open, ready for any suggestions and comments that you may have. Uh, just let us know. We'll continue to bring information about health and wellness. And just want to say thanks again for listening to us. I'm Aaron. And I'm Adam Fernandez. With the Twin Energy Podcast. Love you guys. Take care. Take care. Love you. Whoa. Close. Hi, everybody. My name is Aaron Fernandez. And I'm Adam Fernandez. And we're here at the Twin Energy Podcast. And today, we're going to drop a little knowledge on a subject matter that I've known about for a couple years. I don't know how long Adam's known about it for, but... uh it's blue light, or actually bright light therapy. Other people may know it as blue light. Uh, just basically what it is, uh, or how I first heard about it was on one of the this one podcast I used to listen to, and I also saw it on Doctor Oz. What it is is a little kind of like a vanity mirror. I'll show you. Show you. Whoa! Careful, dude. Watch yourself. Or others. You can plug that back in later. I don't know. My bad. But this, this is what the one that Adam and I have looks like. And it's pretty darn bright. I'm not going to turn it on because it will blind everybody. But the one that I saw on the Dr. Oz show years ago was... Uh, it had like a blue screen to it. Maybe the LED bulbs were blue as well. And it was just bright. And it was small like a little vanity mirror. And uh, you can put it next to your nightstand. So when you wake up in the morning, bam, you get that bright light. Right in your face, help wake you up, get out of bed. Uh, or you can put it in your bathroom so like when you are brushing your teeth, you can bam, again. It makes your teeth look whiter and brighter. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a freaking a Colgate commercial. Blue teeth, all shiny, bright. There you go. Get that new date, hot date going on. But uh, Or you can think about it reflecting off the mirror. So bam, bam, bam. It intensifies. So it amplifies the brightness that you're experiencing. How many mirrors do people have in their bathroom? I don't know. They have a little cabinet for the medicine cabinet, and they have the other ca- the other mirror that's right there. Uh, either way, it's reflecting off all these different surfaces, so it'll wake you up in the morning. But then also, what you can do, which Adam and I do, is you can bring it to work and just have it on your desk. So if you're feeling a little tired in the morning, or you just need that like little boost, something that will pick like, you up. Bam, in your face. 
right in your face, right in your dome, because it's uh, pretty bright. The ones that Adam and I got uh, on the box, on the description, it said uh, 10,000 Lux. And Lux is basically the surface area that absorbs light and their measurement of it. I, I, my understanding of brightness used to be, or when I used to work in the lighting industry, lumens. Lumen. So depending on how many lumens a light was, that's determined how bright it was. But either way, this thing is pretty darn bright. So when we turn it on, it's, uh, I don't want to look at it directly because it's definitely blinding. So I kind of have it like in the peripheral, like just like next to me to where it maybe it's blinding to the left side of me, but not fully on my pupils so either way it's it's a great little little situation but also think about it i don't know if you're familiar with the united states and our geography but people who live in the pacific northwest up there it's beautiful it's green got a lot of trees got a lot of shrubbery but part of the reason for that is they get a lot of rain and with rain comes rain clouds and what rain clouds do is block out the light so people out there in the pacific northwest aren't getting much daily sunlight same situation for people who live in the Midwest or the East Coast. They're either getting a lot of rain and definitely getting a lot of snow out those areas. And with rain and snow comes clouds. With clouds, you don't get a lot of sunlight. So it, it helps benefit people because you, you get the light that you don't get throughout certain times of the year, the winter seasons, obviously. And uh, what it helps to combat is people who get diagnosed. It's, I don't know if they go to the doctor or psychologist whatever and get diagnosed with it but seasonal affected effectiveness disorder which definitely does things to your mood and makes you like maybe during the winter time when you're not getting a lot of light you're a little sadder you're not doing so well acronym sad acronym sad it plays into it you're not feeling that great you're feeling down seasonal affective disorder there you go and, and so the light will help you get out of that funk hopefully like some people it does uh but part of the reason why I, I, cho I chose to do it, Adam and I went on a vacation a while back. Don't be back. sad. Don't be I'm sad. sad. Hey man, sad girl. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I wasn't sad. <laughs> it was not the reason I, I started doing it. But a couple months back, went on a vacation. And when I came back, just my whole sleep schedule was thrown off whack. And I was I did my normal things that I do at night. Wear my little amber colored glasses just to make sure I don't get a lot of sunlight or a lot of blue light. Um, before I go to bed and just other little tricks of the trade that I do to get great sleep but I still found myself flipping and flopping all night long and so Adam and I ended up getting uh, bright lights and so what it, I did is early in the morning I would shine it on my face try to get a little bit extra light just kind of get my system back to how it was prior to the trip and what I was just trying to do is uh, reset my circadian rhythm and what circadian rhythm is, if those of you who aren't familiar with it, is basically an internal clock that helps regulate your sleep time and your wake time. Obviously your sleep time is typically anywhere from eight to nine hours, uh, if, you're been, or if you're fortunate to get that amount of sleep, but then your wake time is anywhere from 15 to 16 hours. But uh, yeah, I found benefit from it. I'm not gonna say that it was the thing that flipped the switch and got me right back on track but that along with some of the other things that I was doing definitely helped me to get back into my rhythm here. Pacific Standard Time is where I was sleeping well, but uh, maybe it's a placebo effect, I don't know, but it's anecdotal evidence nonetheless, and I found it, I found it beneficial for me to use this light, and I think for other people it may be beneficial for many number of things that Adam and I will probably discuss, that Adam and I will discuss throughout our podcast. Just wanna pass the baton on to Adam. All right, I guess I just kinda tell about a little bit of story, just my experience with windows and lights and everything. Last two companies I worked for, company, present company included as well, is that I haven't had any light. I haven't, no windows, nothing. It's just kinda get these fluorescent lights, even a little awkward. Cave? Kind of working in a little bit of a cave. <laughs> you don't uh, you don't get that natural light, a little bit of vitamin D, get the actual sunshine. Saving those bones, and vitamin D. Just kind of dim lighting and not so great. And But about 10 years ago, the job I had, I had this big window where, as I said, you get the 
vitamin D. You get the natural sunlight, just kind of feel a little bit more invigorated, have more energy, Ooh. and I'm ready just to get my job done. But yeah, at my current job, I have now over the past three months been using my light, get, get to work, it's a little bit dark, it's early, maybe I'm not feeling 100% energy, but I turn my light on and just kind of getting that energy and uh, just it could be bright at times and just but it does a trick and the only thing is it's not the same thing as the actual sun but it nope. kind of it kind of does a little bit but it's nice to have, kind of have a window there's it working maybe look out a bit continue working so see those birds chirping those birds squirrels and the bees around, around. monkeys in the trees so yeah so it helps in that regard and then it's kind of funny on uh episode of broad city great show good show pretty funny might want to check it out uh alana she was feeling a bit depressed and kind of sad going on yeah a little bit sluggish and she was at work she worked at a restaurant and she would go into another room and she had her light boom hit her light and then she get this uh kind of boost of energy and like her depression would be gone and she boom boom boom, boom getting stuff done being one of the best workers <laughs> and but it was actually kind of a funny episode also because RuPaul was her boss and it, it was it was goofy it was funny but it just kind of goes to show that even uh, TV shows such as Broad City know the benefits of bright light therapy so I'm that's how preaching it, it. so I, yeah. I, I guess that's kind of that was a couple years ago that it kind of got onto my radar but I never really thought much into it and looked up into it until Aaron did in purchased us each uh, bright light so and we don't share a light we have our own light yeah we don't share an office so boom i'm gonna pass it back to aaron bam all uh, right well just kind of going off what adam had said uh the uh, same thing with me i get to work early when it's dark don't get a lot of light don't have any l windows in my office so I find it beneficial just kind of, if anything, just psychologically that I'm getting a little bit of light in the morning because typically I'm not getting any light for the most part unless I walk out of the office and, until like lunchtime when it's time to go to lunch, get that workout on, go to the gym. But yeah. it, and it just bright. Just, it's like, ugh, I feel like a little mole. The first light of the day after being in the office. office. I know. A little mole man. Hans Molman. Uh, it's just so bright when you get out there. Like, man, I didn't know it was sunny today because <laughs> we honestly just kind of burning the midnight oh working hard all day long and then lunchtime comes we finally get a break stride to go out but i find it beneficial just to get me like i said that psychological aspect that i'm getting a little bit of light and kind of getting my circadian rhythm in line but i'll go on to the next part all right with uh bright light therapy kind of known as blt not uh not to be confused with a bacon lettuce and tomato oh, sandwich well, uh, this is my favorite i remember getting one of those years ago when i was maybe seven years old a blt sandwich that is and i thought it was like maybe a hamburger patty with bacon lettuce and tomato but little did i know it's just bacon lettuce and tomato pretty mm. pretty plain pretty simple <laughs> you know what I mean? not to get filled up BLT is the way to go. Light lunch. There you go. So there's been uh, benefits that to be shown from BLT. It <laughs> per <laughs> I just say bright light therapy per uh, several studies. One of them being that it improves uh, bright light therapy improves your alertness in the morning. I can attest to this because kind of like I said earlier, Aaron said earlier is that when the morning comes around, it's a little dark. I hit up my light, Ooh. get that little bit of extra energy. It's like a punch in the face sometimes. Li like literally, it is dark when I'm at work in the morning, and then going into my office, not getting that light till the afternoon. So it's just good to have that light. Kind of gets me alert, gets me ready for the day, and I'm able to be more productive. Also, bright light therapy has shown to improve productivity and concentration. I don't know so much about the concentration part. I haven't really kind of tested myself, but productivity, I'd say yes, because if there's kind of lulls throughout the day, I know when I turn on that light, I kind of get a little bit more focus and I'm able to, with the focus, be more productive, get more done and just kind of help myself get rid of those peaks those and valleys and just kind of keep everything kind of consistent. What when I kind of feel I, you got to be able to read yourself and know when you're kind of having like that little downward path to that low valley, 
hit that light, boom, get right back you up read there. Read yourself. Do you have an instruction manual? I have an instruction manual carried in my back pocket. <laughs> so I, I lost mine. Can I borrow yours? Yeah. Some copies? Because <laughs> we're twins, so yeah, it, all, it should work for you as well. Same instruction manual. Pretty good, man. Also, it's been known to reduce hyperactivity, and I, I guess I could see These this. Guys bouncing on the walls all day. Know, yeah. Tell me about Stop it. Stop drinking that coffee. Because I, I could see no, I people who are, I don't, yeah, I don't really drink coffee, <laughs> but uh, people who are hyper, maybe it's hard for them to focus, they're kind of all over the place, have a lot of energy, just to try to burn off, but maybe putting on the light, because like I said, it makes you focus, so when so you, put, in, on, not when you put that light on, it's going to, this maybe this person who has hyperactivity going on, they put that light, they'll be able to focus and be a little bit more productive, so I can see it reducing uh, hyperactivity. Also, it uh, says faster cognitive processing. I don't really know too much that I could speak on that. I'd have to uh, do some sort of we, test. We don't or... have a, a, one of those, uh, one of the brain scan machines. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I can't really speak on that, but that's one of the benefits that have shown is faster cognitive processing. So. Oh, I don't know, man. You're fast thinking. I'll You're thinking on your toes over here. I'll let it be. And then it says improved sleep, which I guess I could agree with. Over the past, what, two, three months that I've been using my bright light therapy, it's been uh, kind of getting me on a more of a better circadian rhythm where in the morning, put that light on. It's like seeing the sun. And then I don't use it past, say, noon or one o'clock. And then as the day progresses, it gets darker. Then I kind of get sleepy just kind of that cycle of in the morning being alert and then as the day progresses kind of losing more and more energy and yes. get ready for bed and being able to sleep at night comfortably yeah that's what i kind of felt it as because when I, I was getting home at night I, sometimes i felt as though i was forcing myself to go to sleep but then when i got into the rhythm of using the bright light therapy like i kind of uh, slowly went into sleep mode and it didn't feel as though I was kind of forced. Out of beast mode. Out of beast mode. Sleep Tearing mode. it up all day. Working hard. Running around. Doing those exercises. I'm like, all right. Time for sleep mode. <laughs> also, it's been known to help out with jet lag, which I didn't really personally test myself when I came back from a trip recently. So I'm willing to go on another trip. Either to Australia, it. Europe. Come back. See how this light helps out my jet lag after a long trip so hey, count me in Can i'll get on? back to you on this one aaron's in on it as well Woo! so what i want to do is pass it over to aaron see what he has to say all right i just want to kind of shine some lights on a couple benefits that nice is pun nice pun hey man big pun over pun here inten pun intended there we go pun definitely intended but uh yeah i uh, just want to sh talk about some information how uh, the different studies have shown the actual true benefits to validate some of the claims that people are making. Uh, one thing that I read that the bright light therapy, it uh, increases the, or it stimulates the increase in serotonin uptake inhibitors. And what serotonin uptake inhibitors are, are basically what helps to create serotonin in your body. Serotonin is one of those happy chemicals that your body produces along with dopamine that puts a smile on your face, makes you feel good, makes you, uh, it, it just regulate your mood in general. Like, so it reminds me of a vitamin C song. Glad we put a smile on your face, <laughs> make the world a better place. It's not like Coke, Coca-Cola, they say put a, put a smile on your face. I don't know, man. Put a smile on your face, put diabetes. Brown on your liver. I know, you need some diabetes. But uh, yeah, so it's been proven to increase your happy molecule. Who wouldn't want to be happier? I want to be happier. I want to sustain my happy mood. So I agree, I agree. I go, too. Yeah, and the ingredients so we can go ahead and go through life being happier as, be, as opposed to being depressed, grumpy, whatever the case may be. But also... Uh, the bright light therapy. Frumpy, so much. Frumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more of a look. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so people, uh, other benefits that have been clinically pro proven is that it helps to decrease depression, it decreases anxiety, it decreases nausea, it decreases depression, or I already said depression, but that it increases your healthy digestion. Like it promotes a healthy digestion. So it makes your stomach feel good. And then also it helps. One thing I did read that I found it found interesting is that it benefits your 
your body's ability to heal wounds quicker, which I guess like if you get like vitamin D from the actual sun, I see how that can be the case. Yeah. But it's that's like, happened for me. I noticed with like scabs or whatever, a scratch, and then you're like in the sun getting a tan, and it always seems to heal a little bit quicker. Yeah, so it's just crazy that this bright light therapy has benefits such as that as well. And then also some of the other benefits I show, had read about when I did some research is that it helps individuals with severe depression. Like I said, who wouldn't want to be happier? I want to be happier. I'm a happy guy by nature, but there's we all have our peaks and valleys. But then also it helps people, it benefits people with uh, bipolar disorder bipolar disorder and one thing i didn't know about is i didn't even know it was a real thing but unipolar disorder disorder so do a little research people it's funny the things that you that you find out i, mm -hmm. I didn't know about unipolar disorder i don't know maybe somebody's happy all the time maybe somebody's sad all the time yeah. i don't know it's like, not yeah it's not a great thing but it benefits it nonetheless but then it also helps people that suffer from adhd and one thing, one other thing that I found interesting is that it helps benefit people with eating disorders. So, this order, that order. I'm not eating this order. Every order. And that order anymore. I'm limiting what I'm eating at every order. But yeah, it's just, it's, my thing is it's just insane how versatile bright lights are. But then also, I, I would suggest that people that maybe are taking antidepressants or SSRIs to maybe look about, or look, talk to their doctor about using a bright light therapy alongside with the prescriptions that they're taking because just alone the benefits that this light has i can only imagine it would be, be even more significantly beneficial if you're doing the light along with maybe any uh, doctor prescribed pharmaceuticals to make you happier uh yeah this is just like a universal tool or a versatile tool to throw in your toolbox well, even like with sleeping like it the light will help you to get on a circadian rhythm, but make sure you're also getting enough sleep at night. So you kind of use it mm -hmm. with other things. You don't just, it's not an end all be all. Yep. Use this light, it's gonna help everything. Bam. But you kind of use it in conjunction with other things to make the situation, say with sleep, a lot better experience for you. Everybody just wants that one remedy or that one pill. That one stop shop kind of thing. Yeah, that'll cure all of the L's then, but. It's work. It's like a combination of things. Just think about a corporation. There's all different departments. There's marketing. There's accounting. There's sales. There's uh, payroll, HR. They all work together to create a strong, like thriving company. Same thing with your health. You do these different things. You exercise. You eat well. You do bright light therapy. You take uh, your supplements, and you have a great, healthy, active lifestyle uh, that goes along with it. And you have a thriving body as well. But throw back to. This young dude over here. All right. What up, everybody? Back Woo! to me again with all about, uh, all about you over here, dude. All about the Adam, the Adam show. About time. <laughs> with uh, bright light therapy protocol, uh, I read in a few different articles that it helps out with severe depression, as Aaron mentioned. And their recommendation with the bright light therapy is to use the light three hours in the morning and three hours in the late afternoon to help you Ooh, out with uh, any, light. or yeah help people who may suffer from depression and reduce that depression so but personally with me i don't suffer with any kind of depression that i know of whatever i, I always feel pretty decent can't complain but uh, i use the bright light say maybe 30 minutes to an hour two to three times a day or if there's like different moments in the day where i can kind of feel as though maybe i'm feeling a bit sluggish or a little jolt. bit tired <sighs> boom tap that button and get a little bit extra energy i've been actually making it a point kind of if i notice myself to feel that way kind of do it as an experiment or a test and see if it helps me to be more focused and i've noticed it like it's kind of giving me a little bit of a boost so it's, I'm not just talking Hello. out of my butt on this one. I'm actually Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Turner, or G giving some information where I did studies on myself. But what about you? How, how often are you using it? Uh, usually in the mornings, I'll throw it on for about an hour or so, like 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, maybe a little bit longer if I forget to shut it off. But uh, that's one of the first things I do right when I get to the, to the office, to the desk. Bam, throw it on for about an hour, maybe a little bit longer. And then I... Uh, I haven't done your little trick where I kind of see if I'm 
have those lulls during the day. It's over the past time. couple of weeks I've been doing it. Yeah, but then like maybe in the afternoon like, or late morning, 11 o'clock or so, throw it on again, just get that little burst, just to help help me through the, the rest of the day, get my wor- afternoon workout on for lunch, and then get my evening workout on just to get whatever energy I can just so I can thrive and get that get that, get those gains all, yep. get that good workout on, get that heart rate up, burn those calories, feel great. But that, that was that's how that's that's Aaron's. Okay. Well, so I guess kind of wrap it up here is this that I feel as if the lights benefited me over the past couple two three months that I've been using it, and whether it's actually helping me or some kind of placebo, I I feel a little bit better, a little bit no different. No placebo. No placebo. But I, I recommend it out to you out there. Anybody kind of looking to help some of the areas that we pinpointed throughout our podcast. That you feel like, oh, maybe this could help me. It's reasonably inexpensive. So if you have the money, go out there and get one and see how the bright light therapy can help you out. Yeah, I, I, I just kind of second everything Adam just said. Uh, if you can look into purchasing one, it's definitely a, it's definitely beneficial and you'll get a lot of use out of it. And it's so versatile. Like we said, it helps you with your sleep, helps you heal wounds, helps you with your mood, helps you with so many things that I'm sure, like, like whether it was digestion and like some of these issues that we talk about, people deal with on a daily basis. So why wouldn't you want to try to help yourself throughout the day? So like maybe you don't have to worry about those issues anymore, and you do become health happier because you don't have to be sluggish from not getting enough sleep or feeling down because it's winter time. You get that seasonal affective disorder. But either way, it's a very great tool that you can purchase for yourself or if you know somebody else who's feeling down who may get benefit from it by the get get them a thoughtful gift like this say hey i know you always say that you never feel that great or you just feel out of it this might help you try it out bam listen to our podcast and learn how to use it but uh yeah i i think it's a great tool cool well this has been the twin energy podcast on bright light therapy thank you for joining us i'm adam fernandez i'm aaron over here love you all get after y'all